All right, this is Josh, and we've got Ryan, Ryan and Lola asking questions. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start off with, you're the job specialist manager. So question is, what is the difference between a job specialist and an employment specialist? Well, if you pronounce them out, okay, so let's say it again. Uh, job specialist, employment specialist. Obviously, they're not quite the same. That, this is true. Does, do both of them speak to first-time callers? No. The employment specialists, do they fill out the paperwork? Or, or not the paperwork, but the general profile? The forms, like the entry forms? Do they fill out the, hmm? We'll okay, I guess, okay. I'm, cause can, I'm still can you rephrase the question, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does the employment specialist, mm -hmm. as um, when they talk to the person, do they fill out the basic information yes. about them? Okay. Um, now, we know that the person, once we get their information, they are sent a job of the day. Does yeah. the computer automatically send them a job of the day? Do you, as the job specialist, send that to them? How do they get that? How is both. that determined? Both. Both. So. It's, it's part, what you said was both of the, both questions is partially not true. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, um, so as a job specialist, mm -hmm. can you look through the jobs available and pick a job that you think is good for someone? Or no. do you not actually look through the jobs? You just fill out the information. You, you fill out the information. You don't just pick specific jobs. Okay. okay. Neither does the employment specialist, though. We take out specific types of positions. All right. And then Do you understand the difference? Not sure. If, ex if you could explain. Maybe I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I think what he's saying is that uh, instead of unique individual jobs, it, it's not, if a person was trying to become a fry cook, we wouldn't be saying, okay, uh, here's a Denny's fry cook, this is the job we're definitely going to give you. Instead it would be, we know you're looking for fry cook positions in this area, here is in the database where these are, and maybe the computer chooses from there what job based on different well, he said. metrics. All right, hey, that's, thank you. I was trying to ask that. <laughs> and, okay, so. Would you say that the job specialist is the most essential person involved with the job of the day? What do you mean most essential? Are they, if, if there was a boat called job of the day, would they be captain of the boat? No. No. Well, uh, it, employment specialists and job specialists have the same weight on the job of the day. Okay. So, yeah, so they're, they're, they're two captains of that boat. Okay. And both involved. And actually, to tell you the truth, that's actually a little bit false because the actual captain of the boat in your, in your scenario would be the actual person. Right. Like yeah. They, they can always go back and change anything. It's the first, I guess, the first mate. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, if the database could be thought of as navigation, would the job specialist be in charge of navigation? Not, it goes back to the first mate captain situation. Okay. So the total navigation is gonna be based on the, the, the person actually looking for the position. They're the ones actually navigating. Right, okay. And both the employment spe and job specialists do what they, they find the matches to what they like. So they're navigating actually. Okay. Now, when we first, because I know we send them 10 jobs and then they send back, no, I don't want to apply for this 
because mm-hmm. I don't like the job or I don't like the company or whatever the reason might be. Mm-hmm. Does that just get entered into the computer and then that helps the computer figure out jobs for them? Yeah, so it goes by, um, yes, whatever they, they don't like, obviously we don't send them those jobs that they don't like. Okay, because the computer then would just go, okay, psh, mm-hmm. these are thrown out then. Yes. Okay. Um, Is there a greater technical expertise necessary to work as a job specialist? Then what? Then an employment specialist, do you have to know more about computers and how to use them as a job specialist? No. Okay, so same tech specification. Do they do similar things on the computer? Yes. And this is more specific than hitting buttons and clicking areas? Or is that how they're similar? They're similar in, yeah, they both, they, they both click buttons. They both use a mouse. They both use a keyboard. They both type in stuff. If a job could be thought of as a date and the job seeker as a contestant trying to find a date. Um, <laughs> well, I think start all over. <laughs> right. Well, ha- have you seen those scan shows where. Yeah, um, so the date, all those things. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to find the lucky contestant who's going to go out on a date with them or something like that. Mm-hmm. So if jobs were the potential dates to be gotten and the job seeker was the one trying to find a date, I forgot where I was going. I don't know where you're going. No, I don't either. Yeah, I wouldn't sure. <laughs> well, no, I was trying to think. Oh, right. Who has the most essential role as matchmaker out of a job specialist and employment specialist? Who yeah. is trying to match the customer with the job the most? They're both the same. Okay. Do they try to match the two in a similar way, or are there differences in how they match them? Similar way. Okay. Because I, I know that the job specialist is kind of the secondary person contacted. The employment specialist is the first contact. So uh, in wha- why is the job specialist not the first point of contact with a customer? Because they don't want to be, it'll be an employment specialist, obviously based <laughs> on your definition. That's true. <laughs> and that's all our questions. And uh, yeah, I think because that was the last. You guys have two minutes. We have two minutes. You okay. keep out. We we thought we only had a limited yeah, number. Yeah, five of questions and two follow ups. Mm. So you could you could follow up if if you want if you dare. If we dare. Yeah, I would just Our keep asking questions at this point. Yeah. Okay. How does the job specialist get compensated financially above and beyond the base salary? Usually by check. What do they need to do to earn extra income? Be successful in employment. How is that measured? How is it measured? How is success on the phone measured? I mean, people look at success in different ways. You know, uh, people. Some people look at it as they help the person. Okay. Um, other people look at it as you know they help two people. Uh, you know, so it, it, success can be defined in many different ways. What is more important on compensation? Quality of the review or quantity of reviews had? Neither. Okay. As far as compensation? Yeah. Um, it will probably be, uh, well, it's not going to be quantity of reviews. It's going to be the quality more okay. so, but that does not go into your compensation. Okay. Like I read it, ex- well that's something we expect. You know? Right. It, it definitely could go, it definitely could go against you more so than it. Yeah, you understand? Mm-hmm. We expect you to have that quality. Okay. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, the number of phone calls that you answer? Okay. Does that have any importance, or is more quality of the phone calls you answer important? Um. That I, I can you please rephrase the question. I want okay. To, I want to <laughs> it, if you didn't end up anything, like I can please. Yeah. What, what you're looking for? 
Um, oh. I guess the end time's up. Sorry, I, I was going to give you a good answer, too. To, uh, <laughs>